known each other since elementary school day and we went to high school together. Olivia is the epitome of kindness and hard work. She's always there for her family and friends, ready to lend a helping hand or a listening ear. Even when she herself is struggling, she would still be there for you. I remember witnessing Olivia blush and act shy around Jay in those early days. It was very a very delightful sight to see that. She would, she would run around in the, in the hallway all shy. She wouldn't even slap me and pinch me every time she saw him. Her love is not just a mere sentiment. It's a deep-rooted connection built on a mutual care and respect. Jay goes above and beyond to show his love for Olivia, always there to pick her up from work and cherishing her with unwavering devotion. And Olivia, she radiates beauty from the inside out, her kindness and warmth touching the lives of everyone who she encounters. To Olivia and Jay, may your days be filled with endless care, love, and joy. Here's to the extraordinary couple embarking on a journey of love and togetherness. My name is uh, Jose. Such an honor and an amazing day to be a, to be a witness to such an awesome force. Uh, love Boy and Olivia. Uh, this is not the end, uh, but only uh, the beginning. So I want to begin by you know congratulating you both. What a beautiful moment. You know? So much excitement for this new beginning for you. And I remember the days. I remember the days when we were just uh, just boys. I remember. And we were like also known as like you know the the car boys. Uh, we spent so much time together. Well, mostly driving our car. Then you know pulling up at the McDonald just uh, just to have a chat. And let me tell you. You can never get bored having a chat with Jay. You can never get bored. Yeah? As long as he's himself and he's comfortable with you, you'll never get bored. So Ecclesiastes 4, uh, verse 9 to 10. Two are better than one because they have a good uh, return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity one who falls and has no one to help them up. So you know I'm not I'm not here to preach, obviously. But you know, God is good. You know? I see God has been so good to both of your lives.
Let you fall